everyone, my name is Kendrick Diaz and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. The book of Hebrews reminds us of several privileges God makes available to those who obey Him, to those who follow Jesus Christ. And we read about one privilege in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. The author writes, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Why? That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Now today I want to focus on the first half of this verse, going boldly to the throne of grace. What does that mean? How do we do that today? And what even makes this possible for us? Well, to understand those questions, we have to review a bit of history. See, hundreds of years before, God told Israel, the nation of Israel, to build a tabernacle or a tent, and later on a temple. Now, why did he ask them to do that? Because he wanted to dwell in it. He wanted to dwell in the presence of the nation of Israel. Now, the construction had an interior that was divided into two rooms, and it was separated by a thick veil. One section was called the Most Holy Place, and that very room represented the throne room of the great Creator. Now, the thing about the Most Holy Place was that it was strictly off limits. You couldn't just barge in. No, you could die if you did that. It was that serious. There was only one human being on earth who was allowed to enter into the most holy place, and that was the high priest. Now, he was only able to do that once a year, and he did that so then he can go before the throne and offer a sacrifice on behalf of the nation. But now things have changed. Those effects no longer apply today. Now, how do I know that? Well, because the author of Hebrews says, let us come boldly to the throne of grace. See, if those effects applied to when he wrote this, well, he'd be handing out death sentences to everybody. No, what happened? Something changed. It was obvious to the author of Hebrews that access was no longer restricted to the high priest. Well, Jesus Christ happened, of course. He became the high priest, he sacrificed himself, and his blood is applied to every repentant sinner. In other words, because of what Christ did, we can come directly before the throne of God through Jesus Christ. Now, how do we get to him? Because we don't go to a physical place. He's not dwelling in some physical temple on earth anymore. No, we get to him through prayer. See, when you get on your knees, humbly, you are appearing before the great creator in heaven above. He's there. You can count on that. And Paul says you can approach him boldly. That doesn't mean arrogantly. That doesn't mean that you start listing your demands, like if you own the place, like if he's your slave or something. No, but you also don't go in, like, sort of biting your nails or in constant fear that he's going to zap you or something. No, you go to him with the realization that you approach him in the name of Jesus Christ, and that is sufficient. See, what a wonderful privilege we have. When we read Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, we should be reminded that we can go to the throne room of the universe anytime we want to talk, to ask for mercy, to ask for strength, and we can do so boldly. We can know God is there and that he'll listen and that he'll help. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.